Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobs, I'm a board certified psychiatrist. I want to talk about active listening and the reflection technique because this is very important for communication in relationships. Many relationships, people fight because they are not on the same page. One person says one thing, the other person thinks uh, they heard something else or uh, so, uh, they interpret it another way. They, um, they think there was an implication and they, they then assume the implication is true. They don't uh, check to see if it was true. They, then they act on what they think uh, was said rather than what actually was said. So there's misunderstandings, miscommunications, and later on it leads to fights. Anger, aggression, feeling that uh, one has been uh, abused, lied to, manipulated, so all sorts of problems happen because people don't effectively communicate because they don't stay on the same page confirm what was said uh, be in agreement that's the only way you can go forward is make sure you a reality check with your partner with the person at the other end of the conversation so the active listening part and the reflection technique is basically very very simple after somebody says something like okay I'm going to hang out with my friends and then uh, I'll be here for about five minutes and then I'm going to take off uh, and uh, so, so then you would say, okay, so what I hear you saying is that you're going to hang out with your friends and then after about five minutes, you're going to leave and then I should probably see you back at the house at, uh, in about 20 minutes. Yes, and then the other person says yes. So by locking that in, by kind of making sure that uh, you're both on the same page, this eliminates any kind of confusion or doubt. The other person can't say later, well, uh, I, I meant that, or I said that, or you misunderstood me. You know, you lock it in both people's like memory. You, you lock it in, it's real clear, and, uh, and then there won't be any confusing uh, misunderstandings later. So if somebody says, you know, you, you uh, really upset me because uh, you said this and that, and that was really hurtful and unloving, and then you say, okay, so it sounds to me like you're saying that uh, you were very upset with me for having said A, B, C, and D. And they go, uh, yes, that's true. Or they may go, no, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. And then you go, okay, so it sounds like this is what you meant, A, B, C, D. And they go, yes, that's right, A, B, C, D. You do this repeatedly, consistently. You get into the habit of, uh, of, of, of listening clearly and reflecting it back and then getting a confirmation from the other person that that is indeed what they said and what they meant. This will help you avoid a lot of misunderstandings and fights in the future. It will uh, enable the relationship to be much more successful. Okay, that's it. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.